Okay, hi, it's Nathan here. Uh, we're going to do a really quick video, a uh, demonstration of a product that... There we go. It's better. I think. Okay, a little product that I've been uh, using the last week uh, on my uh, Windows mobile phone. Uh, it's called Point UI, or rather it's their uh, home software, which uh, you'll see in a second. It comes up. It's a pretty slick thing. Uh, basically, if you've been jealous of the iPhone, this is uh, some pretty cool stuff here. It's an entirely uh, touch-based UI. You won't need a stylus for it. And it's designed to give you a much better home screen for Windows Mobile. So you see how there's, uh, they put some animation in there? Uh, first off, animation is something you never get enough of on Windows Mobile, which is always a shame. And there's some really nice touch effects here. You slide your finger along and you can slide through uh, you start out, you got a, you get two different kinds of clocks, and let's see, there's the calendar. Um, your tasks, appointments, and the weather, which is updated uh, as often as you need it to via your Wi-Fi or cellular connection. You can tap on most of these to do something, like if I tapped on this one, it would take me to the alarm settings. And uh, this is a free program, you can download it right now. Uh, from their website, uh, just um, just do a search for point UI. The word point, the letters U and I, one word. But what's really cool is they've done a lot of stuff here, uh, some nice animations and things. Like, uh, let's say you want to hit this. This is your uh, your call history. So you hit that, and it slides right up. And you'll notice there's no scroll bar or anything because it is a simple, just like the iPhone. It's a slide mechanism. You just slide right through your contacts like that. Um, the one thing uh, they didn't do is, if you notice here, I slide up and it slides. If I move my finger up, it moves up, which makes sense, except for that on the iPhone, it works the opposite way. That if you slide your finger up, if you slide your finger up on the iPhone, it actually scrolls down. And the reason for that is that you're not scrolling in a direction on it, you're actually pulling it. Point UI, it works backwards. You're not pulling it, you're directing it. And hopefully they'll change that behavior, or at least give you the option to in a future release. Uh, you can uh, slide your way sideways and call the person, or send them a text message, slide backwards. You, whenever you click on anyone, okay, whenever you select anyone, it shows you all the calls you've made with that person, including a, if there's a large number of them. Like, here's my wife. Uh, don't look at her phone number, but you can see that there's a large number of calls I've made with them. And you pop back out, and things slide away. Uh, now, one thing you'll notice is that it's taking a while. I hit that button, and it's still going. Now, I have a very slow phone. I've seen in other phones, though, there is a bit of a delay, just not as bad as that one. Uh, so, a similar idea, you know, you hit, you hit one of these, you get your regular inbox, you hit that, you get your media player. You can sort of configure these, but not as much as you'd like to. Uh, you hit this thing down here, and another thing slides up to get your applications. Uh, you can hit your favorites to get, like, your contacts, Internet Explorer. You can, say, you can create favorites, remove favorites, I think. Um, you can also get all your list of applications, your regular, this is just your regular menu from uh, the rest of Windows Mobile. Oddly enough, it's not scrolling properly. As You know, it's a very early beta, uh, there's a lot of bugs, but uh, it's, it's wonderful free software. And the uh, problem is you're limited by the speed of your phone. I've got a terribly slow phone. And as a result, it's just hanging on me. I'm sure you heard my doorbell ringing too. Uh, we got a comment. Let's see. Not custom. Yeah. Oh, so uh, looks like one of our commenters, uh, and it's finally's 129, says that uh, it's not fully realized yet, and uh, there are still some bugs with it. And I completely agree with that. There are some problems, and hopefully they'll get it all ironed out over time. Uh, they'll give you more customization. It really does need more customization. I'll give it that. I will be right back in two seconds. I have to answer the door. Okay, sorry about that. Very annoying. An old recording a video. Uh, looks like... It is still giving me trouble. What's that? Waiting. Yeah. It is good to see such initiatives. 
That's probably why it's running so slowly, because I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Hey, yeah, just come in the front door. I left it open. Okay. Uh, don't say anything, though. I'm recording video right now. <laughs> and you'll notice one thing. They uh, changed the title bar in every application. It's good because it's slightly larger and bolder, and it's bad because you can no longer click on these icons to make them do anything anymore. Now, if we can ever get the home screen to load back up again... Hey, man. <laughs> Actually recording this and streaming it, but... Yeah? What? You adjusted the camera? No, not yet. Oh, okay. Uh... You know, this is what happens when you do a live demo. You run the risk of it not working at all. It is streaming out, but I'm getting nowhere with this. Oh, here we go. Finally back sound. Okay. So you can also go to currently running. That's your task manager, uh, which is pretty useful, because, and you can force an application to close. You don't have to wade through a thousand menus for it. Uh, you got your settings. You hit this to get... There's the One problem is, like, if you want to turn your Wi-Fi on, you have to hit here. If you want to switch your Wi-Fi network, you have to go here. Like, they still have to iron out some stuff. It is a very early release. Uh, there's, like, here's your volume. Now, you notice how the screen flipped like that, I hope. And there's some, it's really convenient here. You just flip it up and down, and it makes a little noise for you. And there isn't enough feedback on it, because my, I have a slider switch over here that switches your volume up and down, and it tends to get jammed in the down position, and then I can't hear the ringer. And normally Windows Mobile doesn't, uh, uh, normally Windows Mobile will always tell you if, you're, if your volume's down. But here, I couldn't see it, because I would slide this all the way up, and it would seem to be up because I just set it up. And then actually, the jammed slider would push it straight back down, and there's no feedback on this screen. Right now, the slider is in the down position, and you can't tell based on this screen. So I wound up missing every call I got for three days because of this. So there's, a, like I said, stuff they got to work on. What? No, it's not a Windows product. It's an independent company, but it, lo it looks really cool. You got to see the animations. No, 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 no. This is uh, something else. But uh, as you can see, there's like there's some cool stuff. The transition animations there. The sliding works most of the time. There are some options if you want to switch around here. Not nearly enough. They really do need to uh, add more customization for it. You get your regular Windows Mobile menu reformatted for this program, which makes it a lot easier to use. Switching your connections here. system options. So anyway, it's a really cool program. I can't obviously run through all of it, but uh, I would definitely... Uh, I think everybody should uh, check this out at the very least. Install it on your device, see how well it works, uh, especially if you've got a better processor than mine, maybe something 500 megahertz. Run a lot better on that. Uh, and uh, let, me know your, let me know what you think of it. I'm going to be posting this video on the blog, leave some comments there, and uh, let me know if you like Point UI. Okay? That's Point UI. Enjoy.